The initial reaction was uh, panic, stress, worry, obviously, how we're going to get through it uh, financially. Um, obviously, um, on the positive side, I looked at it, it was at least I'm going to have a bit of time off with my family. That was the only, that was the, I tried to take the positives out of a, a sort of a negative situation. But obviously, you know, when it first happened, my initial thought was how I was going to pay the rent, how I was going to pay my suppliers, and how we, basically, how long was the lockdown going to go on for? We were really worried. Um, I still can't pay myself a wage yet. We're still breaking even. So we were just about starting to get to that point where we were breaking even, and then it hit, lockdown just went, nope. And so we had to, yeah, we had to reevaluate as well how we did business and what we did a little bit as well. As with everyone, it was kind of a necessary step that the country needed to take to kind of keep everyone safe. But of course we were quite uh, fearful of the future as a business and how it was going to impact us. Um, so it was a really scary step uh, for us to take. Well we realised straight away it was going to be quite an upheaval for us. We had already been talking about agile working and trying to ensure that people would be able to work from home anyway. But as soon as this happened, we realised that very quickly we would have people working outside of the office. So we made sure that everyone was set up so they could actually access their computers as if they were sitting in the office. And then the real panic started for uh, a week or so. Um, I actually am one of these people that have, I like to have paper. I like to be able to mark up my documents. I had all my files around me and I thought, right, I'm going to have to take these home. So out came the suitcases. We packed packed uh, suitcases with files, took them home, set up an office in my daughter's bedroom and um, off, off we went. When the lockdown happened, we were very aware that we really needed to reach out to our clients, uh, many of whom are in business of all different sectors of the economy. But in fact, we realised with the advent of Zoom that in fact it gave us opportunities to reach out to them. It's forced us to change focus. Uh, we've always run a mail order business um, alongside the shop which we do out the back um, but over the last five or ten years we, that's been sort of running down a little as we've concentrated more on the in-store gaming. Um, so as soon as we went into lockdown we realised that we could keep the mail order business going uh, and we really focused on that and that did work out really well. We got a lot more mail order business. We got to a stage where we'd all been working at home and then the government changed their policy and said that you could go into the office if it was safe to do so. So of course we then had to make sure that our offices were 100% safe and that the staff had the confidence to return if they wanted to. Um, I actually arranged with uh, Robert to have a professional risk assessment undertaken. We're an open plan office and our office fortunately um, was quite easy to actually make it compliant. We had to change our seating arrangements so that people weren't sitting opposite each other. And then we introduced certain things into the office such as um, our sprays, plenty of uh, sanitizer around for staff, we had our signs up to keep two meter distances and um, we also introduced our door opening devices. To be honest at the moment all I'm thinking about is week every week as it comes. I don't really want to look too far ahead because I know the winter months will be very challenging for for our business, for all businesses. So as with the government guidelines continuously changing sort of every week or two, we're not really looking too far ahead and we just hope that we can get through these winter months. And then once spring comes along again, then people can dine outside. But obviously there's that uncertainty that people don't know what is going to be happening over the next six months. We were worried. Um, we didn't need to be because while people have been in lockdown, they've reevaluated their lives, they've reevaluated their priorities, and they're certainly now looking at. They're, they're, there's a lot still on furlough actually as well, so there are people trying to save more money. They are not wanting to go back to their old jobs, or they're trying to find a new fit for them. And so I think this has worked out better for us in a way. We are growing more now because since we reopened, which is interesting, because I think people now are saying, okay. I need to, I've got a budget here, I need to save some money or I need to sell some stuff post lockdown because they've accumulated things as well during lockdown that they haven't been able to give to charity shops. Mm -hmm. 
and they can get some money here for them. We are feeling really optimistic. Um, hopefully the worst of it is behind us. If we've made it through um, this first period, we're hoping that we've sort of got the strength to carry on. Um, and we're just really excited to see everyone getting back into it, feeling more comfortable being here. Um, and hopefully we can kind of move forward and put it all, all behind us. I think we're going to have to continue to adapt the business. Um, it looks like, you know, this isn't going to go away overnight. So I don't know when we'll next feel comfortable about having in-store events. So we're going to have to keep adapting things to, um, to make up for that. I'm quite optimistic about the future for, particularly for the areas outside of London, such as Barnet. Because I think the uh, the properties around Barnet um, are going to get a bit of a shot in the arm. The businesses around here are going to get a shot. And I, really, I, I think that because a lot of people have been going to town, going to the city of London, go to the West End. A lot of wealthy people live around London in Zone 2 and 3. And they've been living in, in places like Barnet in the weekend, but leaving it Monday to Friday. Now you might find that from, you know, maybe on Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, there are going to be a lot more people around. That'll mean the high streets are busier, um, shopping centres are busier, and that might be a good thing. You might get, you know, new coffee shops um, springing up that, you know, that serve better coffee and all that other stuff, you know, and it might be a really good thing for the outlying areas of London. So I'm quite optimistic, actually.